The mule deer is indigenous to Western North America, and it's named for its large mule-like ears. There are about 10 subspecies in total, including the closely related black-tailed deer. Mule deer are generally associated with the land west of the Missouri River, and more specifically, with the Rocky Mountain region of North America. It appears that mule deer evolved from black-tailed deer, although strangely enough, the DNA for mule deer is more closely related to whitetails than to their black-tailed close cousins. The most noticeable differences between whitetails and mule deer are the size of their ears, the color of their tails, and the configuration of their antlers. In many cases, body size is also a key difference. The mule deer's tail is black-tipped, whereas the whitetail's is not. Mule deer antlers fork as they grow, rather than branching from a single main beam, as is the case with whitetails. Antlers are usually shed annually in February, and although they are capable of running, mule deer often prefer to hop, with all four feet coming down together. This type of running is called stotting. The mule deer's height averages 40 inches, or 1 meter, at the shoulders, and its length from nose to tail is almost exactly double that. Adult bucks normally weigh 150 to 300 pounds, although trophy specimens may weigh around 450. Does usually weigh around 125 to 175 pounds. The main predators for mule deer are bears, coyotes, and mountain lions, although humans do take a major toll through hunting and vehicle collisions. Mule deer are not well equipped for fighting, so they rely on speed and being alert to avoid danger.